Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor. And in this section, we're going to do problems dealing with levers. Okay, Lever is a fancy word that just means uh, something, some kind of flat surface with a pivot point. That's a, that's a lever, something like this, like a seesaw. Okay, So the good news is these are going to be word problems you know, that you have some experience with because we've all gone to the playground, we've all done the seesaw. So you're going to have per people sitting on the left, people sitting on the right, and you have some experience with doing this already. You have some experience with playing on the seesaw. So I think you all know that on a seesaw, if this is a seesaw here, if I put a person here on one end and a person on the other end, if we're both exactly the same amount of weight, okay, then uh, the seesaw will be perfectly balanced, right? And I think you also know just intuitively from playing on the playground that if you have a, a really heavy person, let's say, have a, let's say you have a really light person like a baby, okay? Like a, like a toddler. You take your, your toddler to the, to the park or something and you put him on one end. He's really light, okay? Now, if you're a, an adult and you sit on the other end, then you're going to just sit all the way on the ground and that toddler is going to go up in the air. So in order to balance the seesaw, you know from your playing on these things that you can, the adult, can move on in towards the pivot point. And eventually, if you get close enough to the pivot point, you can still balance the seesaw. Okay? So these problems are going to deal with that. They're going to be dealing with people sitting different distances and stuff from, from the edge of the seesaw. And we're going to talk about how to do that. So before we actually get into the word problem, let me, let me teach you a little bit about levers. Okay? So you have something called a basic lever. Okay? It's a seesaw. I mean, it's just a fancy word that means seesaw. So here's this middle point where you're balanced here. Okay? This thing has a special name. It's called a fulcrum. Okay? Don't uh, worry too much about the name. The only reason I'm even telling you the name is because the word problems probably are going to use the word fulcrum. It just means pivot point. It's a fancy word that means pivot point. It's nothing special. Okay? And uh, you have a, a person over here. I'm just going to put it as a, him as a box, but it could be a person, okay, a big box, let's say. And he has some weight, okay. Uh, I'm going to call him uh, weight two because he's box number two, let's say. And then uh, you have a little smaller box over here. And uh, I'm going to say that he is a uh, weight one because he's box number one, he has weight one. So you have two boxes, different weights, okay. Now, also, there could be different positions on this thing, just like you can play different positions on the seesaw. So this, this distance between box number one and the fulcrum is uh, just called L1. And this distance here from here to the other box is L2. So you see, it's a fancy looking drawing, but really you have this, this seesaw and you have this fulcrum where it's pivoting. You have person number one or box one, a distance L1 from the fulcrum, and you have another box with a different weight, weight two, that's a different distance, okay? Now, here's where the really, the magic comes in. Really, it's physics that comes in here. This seesaw is balanced, okay, when the following is true. The distance one times the weight one is equal to the distance 2 times the weight 2. Okay, This seesaw is balanced in that condition. Okay, So what this is saying is that when the product or the multiplication of the distance times the weight on the left is equal to the distance and times the weight on the right, if these two products are equal to each other, then the seesaw is balanced. Okay, Now you can kind of you can kind of get a sense of that because what I was telling you before is that when you go to the park, if you have a toddler on one end and an adult on the other, we obviously have different weights, right? The weight of the toddler is going to be totally 